Dear students, we will start a class with a topic pulmonary tuberculosis. So these are the specific learning object for pulmonary TB or pulmonary tuberculosis. At the end of the class, you can understand how to define pulmonary tuberculosis and etiopathogenesis of tuberculosis, clinical features or signs and symptoms, diagnostic evaluation, treatment and prevention of TB. So, we can first define tuberculosis. It is an infectious disease caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis and characterized by the formation of tubercle round the nodules or granuloma in lungs. So, it is a bacterial infection. Etiology is mycobacterial tuberculosis and the significant point is it is a tubercle or round nodules formation in the lungs. There are two types of TB. First is latent TB and second is active TB. So, what do you mean by latent TB? Latent TB means the bacteria is in inactive form. That means the mycobacterium tuberculae incubation period is 11 to 14 days. So, the bacteria is in inactive form. Second type is active TB. That means once it has entered inside human body, it start to activate. So, it will show symptoms in human body. So, these are rather than mycobacterium tuberculosis, these are the other causes for pulmonary tuberculosis. Mycobacterium africanum, mycobacterium microti, mycobacterium bovis, all causes tuberculosis and are members of the tuberculosis species complex but the main cause is mycobacterium tuberculosis as we discussed earlier or initial the most common cause for pulmonary tuberculosis is mycobacterium tuberculosis. Next is pathophysiology. Pathophysiology means the pathway of the disease or the condition has origin. So, how it is leading to pulmonary tuberculosis or how or where the origin of the bacteria? It is infected through the air droplets, mycobacterium basally inhales, transmitted through air valley to alveoli, then the multiplication begins. Next, transfer to lymph system and bloodstream, immune system response, phagocytes engulf to many bacteria, TB lymphocyte basically spread in normal tissues, accumulation of exudate in alveoli, bronchopneumonia. That means in a simple form, the bacteria is entering inside human body through air droplets. First, it will be in latent form that is inactive. Second, it will be inactive after activation it will show symptoms in human body so signs and symptoms are clinical features of pulmonary tuberculosis coughing up blood fever chest pain chills weight loss night sweats long term cough no appetite Fatigue. These are the significant signs and symptoms or clinical features of pulmonary tuberculosis. Diagnostics or investigation. How to investigate this presence of bacteria in our body or human body? History collection, physical examination, sputum test, blood test and chest x-ray. These are the investigation method for pulmonary tuberculosis. And another significant test we used for pulmonary TB is Mantos test. Mantos test is nothing. It is a simple thing that is tuberculin, a small amount of tuberculin is injected to under arm of the patient to detect the presence of bacteria in body. So, what are the 
complications. Suppose one patient is having pulmonary tuberculosis. Regarding that, what are the complications that patient need to face? Meningitis. Meningitis means inflammation of the meninges. Second is spinal pain, joint damage, damage to the liver or kidneys, heart disorders. These are the complications that a pulmonary TB patients will have. Because bacteria, we know that this is the bacterial infection. At and after the active stage, there is a chance for spreading of this bacterial infection from one organ to another. So suppose for example, if it has spread to meninges, it lead to meningitis, spinal TB is there, joint damage and damage to liver or kidneys. Later, if it is complicated, it may lead to multi-organ failure. Management for pulmonary tuberculosis, anti-tubercular drugs. The term anti means against TB. So, first is isonazide, second is rifampicin, third ethambutol and fourth streptomycin, at last pyrazinamide. These are the significant anti-tubercular drugs that we are prescribing for pulmonary TB patients. So, prevention. How to prevent not getting this infectious condition? Wash your hands after sneezing, coughing or holding hands near your mouth or nose. As usual we know that TB is an air droplet, it is spreading through the air droplet. So if we are an infected person or if we knew that infected person, we are in direct contact, so avoid that. And wash your hands after sneezing, coughing or holding hands. Cover your mouth with a tissue when you cough, sneeze or laugh. That means isolate yourself. Avoid close contact with others. Do not attend work or school if you have this pulmonary tuberculosis condition. At last, most significant, the BCG vaccination is provided for pulmonary tuberculosis patient to avoid getting this condition. So, summary of this condition, we can recall all the points. Tuberculosis is a condition in which tubercle formation in the lung, the term tubercle has significant and it is caused by mycobacterium tuberculae. Most common symptom of TB is fever with night sweat. Next is diagnostic evaluation through CT x-ray and complete blood count or CBC, we can investigate the causative organism of pulmonary TB. And the tubercular drugs should be provided for the patients with TB. The preventive method was avoid close contact with infected people. This is the most safest zone. If you are a TB person, isolate yourself. Self-isolation is very significant. So, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.